don't play with me, I am life, uh -huh. don't play with me, I am life, uh -huh. don't play with me, I am life, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am a child of Christ, yeah. don't play with me, I am life. Uh -huh. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome again to Reason and Truth Ministries, where we are continuing our study and our talk, our discussion on the Aleph Bet. And this evening we're going to be doing the Mem, which is the 13th letter of the Aleph Bet. The 13th letter. Now why it is important we are doing this? Why, why it is necessary now more than ever to understand and to learn the the meaning or have an understanding of what the scripture teaches concerning Mashiach and concerning the Tanakh, the Torah and the Berit, this new covenant that we all gravitate to. What's, what's the point? What's the reason? There is an enclave of information. It's like a, a um, you know, an avalanche of information that is flooding our environment. Information is rapidly being released where? On the internet, in institution, in whatever area you may think about, information is readily there. However, how are we able to identify or differentiate truth? Because without I able to I understand and differentiate truth, we are now in an environment where we are just going to be more and more skeptical about anything that is brought forth to us. Mm -hmm. Now, every ministry, every institution where person like myself, which we call either a pastor, a shepherd, a rabbi, a teacher, whatever name that you may ascribe or they may ascribe to you there is a responsibility to communicate Hashem's word by his Ruach HaKodesh according to what Torah according to what scripture teaches now why is this important why is it necessary in reference to all the different Bibles and information that are being reproduced all is as a result of money. Money is what drives the intent of all the suppliers in our environment. Because once there is a demand and they create a need for, they will supply and fill that need. And what? There is a demand for, there is a demand for truth. How are you able to differentiate truth? How are you able to know what is truth? We hear treason and truth. We teach from the etymological derivation of the lingula prima. We go back to the very basis of what the lingula prima constitute. What does it state? How it stands? How it how all the ideas that we propose are readily settled upon what now is stated because if you don't have a basis anything that you po propose is going to be in what mid-air mid and we don't want our conversation to be in mid-air so we want to define our term we want to meet a ground of common understanding of what is being communicated and from that reference now we could speak on the basis of what is truth what is truth aristotle said truth is that which corresponds to reality it is what it is and is not what it is not that's the basic and all human beings use that basic axiom to understand anything at all thus far we are dealing with the hebraic alphabet we reach the letter mem mem is a very interesting letter very interesting just as how lamid which we dealt with which is the 12th letter is very interesting. We're going to see how it is this evening. Thus far, we are at Mem. So, already we have went through the... Bet, Gamil, Delit, He, Wav, Zayin, Het, Tet, Yod, Kaf, Lamed, and Mem. Nun, you're going down. Nun. Nun. Samek. Ayi. Pe. Sari. Kuk. Resh. Shin. Sin. Anta. Well, Shin Sinta, right? Shin and Sin is just, one is on the right, one is on the left, right? But 
So let's just repeat the alphabet. Aleph, Bet, Gamil, and you're right. Where is where is no Ain? That's right, we miss Ain. No, yeah. Ain. Yeah. Yes. Samik Ain P. Samik Ain P. So this is supposed to be here like this. So Samik Ain P. Sadik. Right? And so that's the alphabet. And we want to always remember it always go through the alphabet. And we come we we are we are now where we have the the double we had we have the double letters. Right? Kof kof sofit, mem mem sofit, nun nun sofit, I am sadik, I in pe pe sofik, sadik, sadi sofit. Kof resh shin and tav, right? Okay, so did that get this one? Good. So now, this is what we want to remember. This is what we want to always know. We got to keep it readily. Now, each each one of these letters, as we said, it tells a story. It tells a, a beautiful <coughs> story. We know the alphabet was open with a? A bet. A bet. However, it wasn't open with an aleph. However, aleph is the first letter of the alphabet. But creation was open with a bet. And we say the bet is the house, the bite. And the bite is where the husband, the father, and the mother dwell in relation to humankind. However, without the father in the house, you don't have a gamil. And the gamil is the? Gentleman, the good man, the rich man, who comes with all the gifts and he bring gifts, and which is also known as the camel. Gamil is the same word for cam camel, gamil. And the camel is that which carry on long journey, which stores up water for what is necessary in order to sustain life. So now, and the, the gentleman give to the poor man, which is the delete. The delete speaks about all that which is within time, space, and matter, and that which is needful, that which is poor. So it's a poor man bending over, receiving the gifts from the gamil, and with his back behind his head, because he's in a, sh he's a shame. He's a shame, because he doesn't know any better, and that's in this reality. All things that are created, it's created good prior the fall of man. It is created good prior the fall of man. However, we have fallen, so now each letter based upon even creation, because Hashem know we would have what? We would have fallen. So even in creating us, he made restitution for each and every one of us. Wow! It, that, is, that, that blows my mind every time. He is making restitution in the midst of him creating all things. So now he creates all things because this here is the two two dimension, the door, the doorway. And everything here thus far is two dimensional. The aleph which is not seen in creation is three dimensional which goes towards the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. You see it has three prongs which is a construction of three letters. Two yod and a wav and which gives you a numerical value of 26 and also it, the number is symbolized as one. So this way you get Shema Adonai, Shema your Israel Adonai Elokinu Adonai Achad. Shema your Israel Hashem Elokinu Hashem Achad. Shema your Israel Yahweh Elokinu Yahweh Achad. Now three different ways. Same thing, just use different words to communicate for Yahweh, which is the Father, Elokinu, our King, right? Our King, Elokinu, Kinu, Malek, Malekinu, Elokinu, El, which is God, our 
Nu is our. So it's showing you that right there, it's speaking about the right within here, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. It's speaking about one in plurality, diversity in unity. It's speaking about how he revealed himself to all mankind, and right therein is the mystery of that which you must sink what? Deep. You must go deep. Remember, I said in scripture, scripture has basically it is written in um the 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 Holy Scripture is written in basically four dimensions. It has four depths. You have the Peshal, which is the literal, just the literal writing. That is the Peshal, it's a simple meaning, what it means, even my child can understand it. You have the Remiz, which is the hint, the parables in scripture. You have the Drash, which is the anag analog analogous or anagol ana anagorial, right? So now that is the different, um, one, one mean in a one text could have many different mean um, interpretation, but one meaning. meaning, many different interpretation, but one meaning. And then you have the sword, and the sword, like just as yacht sword, which is your mind, meaning, you know, well, well, it could say wisdom, but it's more mystery. It's more myst mystical because you're dealing with what? The mind, the mind, because your mind is a what? It's a mystery. No, who can understand the mind? Scientists to date, they're still looking for the And that has to do with what? Revelation. Because where we all get all type of revelation? In our mind. In our mind. And we, the revelation is based upon what we? Hear. Hear and? No. See and? Think. No. No, think. That's how we get revelation. You can never get revelation apart from what you? No. It's impossible. So what we have to remember is these four elements, these four structures, and how deep the scripture go. This is why the scripture is taught in, by many. It's the book in which a child may wade and an elephant may swim. Mm -hmm. Meaning a child can actually approach it and not drown. And an elephant can swim in it. So it can confuse the greatest color. And it can give light to the, the simple-minded. So you have enough light to see what he's saying, the revelation of his word. And there's enough darkness for you to be clouded for all eternity. And because this book doesn't belong to you, that is as simple as it is. Now, I, I don't write it. As these, this scripture, as 2 Timothy said, all scripture is given by inspiration by Hashem and is profitable for doctrine, for righteousness and comfort in righteousness. Meaning... All scripture were inspired by Hashem. And because it was inspired by Hashem, it is for us to go to Him in order to know it and understand it. Apart from Him, we cannot understand it. So now, <coughs> even as we go through thus far, we see now that the poor man received the information from the Gamil, the, Gamil, the good man. And now the good man, because he received it, now he adds uh, another dimension to him which he have more, what you call revelation so now there's a connection with this reality and the two dimension there's a connection so now all that which is now in the mind of the creator is here revelation now it's there is a connection there is a connection between these two realms and now it is now filled and is ready for what the unfolding what is unfolding? The revelation in this realm, in this time, in this space. The revelation in what? The man. This is the letter of man. This is the letter of grace. This is the letter of what? The delete, the dispense, that which is dispensed from aboard. You know, the four rivers that the Bible talk about. And well, you guys can read that. And now the man received the information. So now the nail, that which hooks on, that which is unfolded, is hooking on to the information, but now he must release it to the Zion, which is known to be also the Ruach HaKodesh, and is also known to be the weapon, and that which is used for food, for cultivation, and that which divides protection. And this Zion in itself, that weapon which fights and war, the only fight and war we can war with, the weapon of our warfare, and not cannot, but a uh, mighty true Hashem for the pulling down of strongholds and ideas and concepts and everything that raises up itself against the knowledge of Hashem. I don't think I'm speaking too fast, right? Okay, all right. <laughs> All right, <laughs> forgive me. 
Um, so now, this zine, what it does, what it used to do, it, used to, it is used to cut and divide your heart. You see, the first thing that will divide is our heart because we have been fallen. We wicked, we evil, we depraved, we we so filthy in ourselves. Because the first John, first John, it said, now if any man say that he have not sinned, he is a liar, and the truth is not in him. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory. Romans six thirty three, Romans um three twenty three. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But as many as receive him, he gave them the power to be, become sons of God. John one. Um, if you confess with your mouth, Romans nine, nine and ten, and believe in your yet sod or your lev, that Yeshua rose from the dead bodily. Eternal life shall be given unto you. Mm. But it's not just a recitation. It's not just saying something, ooh, and going in some water. No, 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 no. It's a what? It's a con... A, it's a... a, 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 a That's right. It's, 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 it's an awareness of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's an awareness. It's like you totally work this out in your mind that this is what I'm going to do. And when you divide your heart, you now put the old man here and you put the new man here. No longer your debt to sin, but now your debt unto righteousness. Romans chapter 6. You are now buried with Yeshua in your wicked, stinking, dirty, nasty, wretched state. And if you don't see yourself as stinking, dirty, and wretched, you can't have this new what? Life. This new seed. Because remember, last week we dealt with the what is this? No, last week too. The yin and yang, right? And this is the, the two aspects of that is what's going on with us right now. And it's not, it don't have no dot here, and it don't have no dot here. It don't have a little bit of good here and a little bit of bad here. A little bit, um, because there's all good and a little bit of bad. There's all bad and a little bit of good. That's a lie. That's, that's a lie. That's a concept of man. That's the Chinese philosophers. That's man ideology, man concept. But in reality, just take this out. This is true. This here is true. This is an absolute. This is true. This is an absolute. In you, there is a great war going on. There's a war raging. And that war that is raging inside here is the old man fighting against the new man every single day. And the new man is the seed. He said, no, you must be born again. You must be born. Um, um, the, the, the Pharisee, um, he said, can I enter into my mother's womb? A second, a second time? But he wasn't speaking about that. He's speaking about the seed now that you now will allow to grow in you. This seed is the word. The deva, the devarim. And if you don't allow it to grow, then you are not allowing the Holy Spirit to do its work in you. And the Holy Spirit now is what separates your heart. And when you dig that hole deep in your heart, you put up the wall, the hat. And this wall now is inside or outside. You could you, you you could go outside anytime you want, but now at your own what? Risk. Because you have the boundary, <laughs> you have the line, the line where you ought not to cross. You know it. Because what? The secret things of man belong to Hashem. Most people misunderstand that in Deuteronomy 28, 28, or 28, um, some day, but Deuteronomy 28. When they say the secret things belong to God, and that which uh, um, reveal it belongs to who? Man, the king, right? What are you speaking about there? Because Israel played the whole, the harlot, the stink, wretched, nasty slut that she is. Just as how the so-called church are there saying, we are the church and it's a nasty, wretched place. You don't want to be affiliated with none of this religion. You want to be affiliated with who? Yeshua. Yeshua. When you're affiliated with Yeshua, when you're going to a church, the only thing you want to hear is who? His word. And how you will know you're here in this world? Because one, you're going to be discomforted. One, you're going to be disquieted. One, you're not going to feel good. One, you're going to be, you're going to be, choose to straighten up. One, you're going to, you're going to, 
it's nothing here to make you feel nice or make you feel ooh, that nice, that nice word. Ooh, I will get some money, ooh, better life, ooh, a greater me, ooh, a nicer. Anytime you're feeling like that in any place that teaching Hashem's word, you're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with the harlot. Proverbs chapter 5. Her words are like what? Honey. Honey. Whoa! Like honey, not honey, you know. Because he is the honey. He's sweeter than the honey. Than the honeycomb. He is sweeter. But her words are like what? Honey. And her guests are what? In hell. But the woman ride the beast. Woo, she riding. What should she riding? She riding the church. Because why? Your heart is not divided. It must be divided. And if it's not divided, there is no way you can actually choose. Because one, when you're divided, now you go into the interview, you go into the tent, you go into the basket where the snake is. Where now that that place of what? Completeness. And you now must make a what? A decision. A decision to do what? To carry out all the information that has been given to us. All the information that has been given to us. <coughs> so all the information that has been given, now the hand that receive what? That receive the strength. Receive the strength. You make a decision to receive his hand. His hand is extended and you must extend your hand. So now no longer your will but... His will, because this here speaks about will. This speaks about a willing participant. You now choose to grab hold of his will. So this is the will, no longer your will. No, not I live, but he that liveth in me. Not I am doing my will, but your will be done. He said, follow me. Devak. Devaki, follow me. Devaki, follow me. As I follow Mashiach. Shaul said that, right? Yeah. Shaul. So now you're seeing that this will is now whose will? His will. The mind that was in Christ is now in you. So now you can have, you can wear his what? Kata. What is this kata? Kata. That's right. Kata. That's right. His kata. His crown. You see, I always wear kippah, right? It's to remind me that I have a crown on my head. And is the crown of? Mashiach, he is my rabbi. That's my rabbi. That's my rabbi. My rabbi. Ooh. I'm his slave. I'm his slave. I have no right. Because it was his will. So now, and we know calf is a double anointing. Is how the, the ironic blessing is pronounced upon all the children of Israel with their two hands. Because why? It's a combination of this yod and another yod, which is 20. And we see that this now is the first, the beginning of the what? The double letters. And we know is one is in an actual stage and one is in a potential stage. So all man can have the potential to be or to actualize their state. The potential is there, but you can remain in a potent stage and not actualize your state of being in Moshiach. So now you could have a resemblance. You could be a Hippocrates. What is that? Hippocrates is the Greek. What's the English? Hypocrite. A hypocrite. And that's what they have in these churches. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. And I say it without any Fear of contradiction. If any one of you think I'm lying, let any one of your pastor come. Come, we can debate. We can debate vigorously. The hypocrite. The hypocrite because when you ask them why you're doing what you, why you're giving all this money to the church, why you give money to a church, why? Why? What's the reason? What's the reason for the children of Israel collecting money in a church? Why? Why? What's the reason? Say give 10%. Uh, uh, read Malachi and see what the priest had that indictment was upon the priests because they weren't doing with the money what they ought to do and they're still not doing it today. The harlot, she ride in here. Mm. Great seductress. Great, great, great seductress. This is why you find out all these churches what they want in the pulpit. Who they want in the pulpit? Women. Anytime you see a woman leading men, you have the what? Yeah. The harlot, she ride the beast. 
yes, we live in a new age where, what does it say? Woman right, what you just had a woman right, woman match. And here what they say, when women do things, what should they do it? They don't only do it in the United States of America, but they do it in all the states in America and in, in England, in Australia, in all over the world, in France, all over. Why women are doing this thing? Why women don't even want to be why women don't want us be a housewife? Why is that? Why? Why women don't want to be the house? We're going to see why. <laughs> why, why, why. What should we come into it, right? And then now we go to the Lamed. The Lamed now is where you receive the what? The information. The information where you are taught, where you are Talmudim, where you are student, where you are teacher, where you learn, where you get the divine information from Hashem. Where he now is the tallest letter, it goes up. And it comes down. And this is what he pays on Yaakov, Yaakov, the, the information where all things are being done for Yaakov. The promise has been made to Yaakov. Jacob. Jacob. And it must be fulfilled. So tonight now we see in the information that has been re received, based upon the anointing that you have on your life, is for what? Is to go into what? All the world. It's to go into where? All the world. And we're dealing with Mem tonight. So we're looking at Mem. Mem, which is the 13th letter, is has a numerical value of how much? 40. 40. Right? And if you look, it have four sides, four walls. Speaks of a what? Speaks of like a wound where things are incubated, where things are are made where things are pre preserved. It has a numerical value of 40. The name is Mem, M E M, Mem, right? Um, the song is M, M, right? And the pictograph of Mem is, see? It looks like an M, right? But it's water. It's water. It's water. And that's how they write in the pictograph in Paleo Hebrew. And as it evolved, we use the block script to date. Now, Mem, in its construction, it's constructed with two letters. Two letters. And the two letters are a calf and a. Calf and a. A wav. Same thing the way a lamid is constructed. So now this has a lot to tell us about. Yeah. This has a lot to tell us about. We, you know, last week this have a construction of that, and that construction give us tell us. Um, Who is speaking about? Yeah. That's right. Because numerically, this has a construction of how much? 26 in the construction, the, the name spelled out. This is 10, 5, 6, and 5. When you add it up. The construction of this is a 20 and a 6. Equal to 26. And also, I'm going to break it down to 8. And what I tell you? It tell you it speaks about a what? New beginning, the new day, the first day of the week. The new day, the first day of the week. Where's the first day of the week? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, right? Which is the first day of the week. And this telling us that something is beginning a <coughs> new. Something is beginning a new. And if something is beginning a new, what that is what that is literally telling us something is beginning anew we see in that hashem has made all things and something is beginning anew it has never been before so it's now beginning so even his name his name as seen in the tetragram it has never been what Mention or name before it began and it was shown to 
mankind. So all these things you see now, what, a newbie? New beginning. A new beginning. So even in this, in his name, it's showing you that it is new. It is new. And it's showing you even in this word, this, this, this letter. New, a new world. A new world is being formed. So now you have the information to go into what? All the world. All the world and do what? And do what? Teach. So now, all what you have learned, all that which you have received from him, now you have to go into the world. And either now you could become a product of the world or you now could what? Influence the world. What are you doing with the information you receive from Hashem? Because now you're going into the world. And when you, when you go into the world, you're going for purpose, objective. You're going for a purpose, an objective. And all places, it, it, this, this letter is telling us that there is a, this place that we're going into, Makun. Makum. Makum. Now, this letter is interesting, right? In interesting. Why it is interesting? Who can tell me something about this, this word? Makun. What, you know what it means? Huh? Place. place. It is speaking about a place. And these places that we're speaking about is where we will go. But look at something. It is... It, and there are depth to this what is being said because these places that they're going into, you have an open mem and a closed mem. Close mem. Why have an open and a closed mem for this for place? Because wherever you go, you're going with what? You're going with the open mind of Hashem to bring people into His kingdom. Now, as you go, you could become what? You could be as a monkey with your animal state in your nephish and you could join yourself to what that place and you what you become lost um now look at this that is makun 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 and this is Remember this word? Mesraim. Say that again. Mesraim. Mesraim. What is Mesraim? Egypt. Egypt, right? Mesraim. Mesraim. And what is that place? Where is Shamut? What is that place? That debt. That debt. Shamut is that debt. That place is debt. Debt to your eternal being. Because every harlot behavior, every evil you could think about went on in Mezraim. And what, what, what is similarity? What? Makum and Mezraim. Yeah. Where is Shamut in the Bible? Like what is the Exodus. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Exodus. Oh, wow. Shamut. Really? That's, That's right. Ha, very much interested. You see, Yahweh, everything is knit, well knit. But it's if we are willing to find it. So now this is showing us here that the divine revelation of Hashem, because all the information that you receive, now you ought to teach it and make it known. Or you could become like this place. Or you can come in and bring people out in him, not in yourself. Because this kuf wav is what you hooking yourself onto. Are you hooking yourself onto this monkey, which is your nefesh? Or are you hooking yourself into this seed, this new life that you have? Because this is just you, mankind. 
And we have been called to live this new life that we have been given. And this new life that we have been given, it's only found in who? In Mashiach, right? It's only found in him. And there is no other life. Who could find John 7, 38 for me? John 7, 38. Appreciate it. Now, the mem is so interested. If you and when you go home, you can you can take a look at it. It's a, it's a. Um, there is a. Just on, just on, just on with the, um, with that with that verse. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Just on, just on with that. The mem which speaks about the number forty. Right? It's very interesting. All through scripture, when, you, when you, you read scripture, you will see 40 days and night of what? what? What incident? 40 days and night of what incident when the world was destroyed? 40 days of the flood, right? Rain, right? <coughs> 40 years in the wilderness that the children of Israel wander. 40 days Moses was on where? Haishanai. Okay? And 40 days of silicot. Silicot is the Teshuvah before Rosh Hashanah. 40 days. That's right. This is where now you prepare. You go through repentance. You fast. And you, you prepare yourself because why? The first year of the year coming. And is what? There's a new, a new beginning. And you have to be clean. You got to be clean. 40 days of fasting by our Lord in where? When he was in the, in the desert. That's right. Yeshua fast for 40 days. 40 days. There are 40 days for conception to the initial formation of a fetus. 40 days before a fetus. And scientifically, it's true in 40 days. And they know that way back then. How much years? They know that. 40 days before a child. How they will know if it's a boy or a girl? And they knew these prophets. 40 days from conception to initial formation of a fetus. 40 days. 40 days. So that is one month, Anna. 10 days. Days what, from until, woman. It forms? Yeah, until the the conception. So forty days from initial conception for when the first formation of that zygote is. Oh, so when it starts, like yeah, yeah it's form. You're seeing form of a form. Yeah, because that's why they say they so they's coming right. after your la the the last day or the first day of your because last they, period. Yeah, because they last they last say, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Sometimes the scripture says forty days. Um, a woman to cleanse after giving birth to a male child. That's right. Mm. That's right. Read Leviticus. Very good. Very good. And you see, a male child? yes, um, a male child? ah, male child and female, male. that's right. Fifty for eighty, eighty. 80 for yes, for double, double the time for a what? a female child. Yes, because because yeah, because, really? because of the uncleanness really? in Leviticus. Oh, wow. you read it. Read it. That, that is what the scriptures say. Yeah, I, I, I No, don't don't jump no, pipe don't I, jump past I, I, it. I, you know, like you don't get everything in one read. Yeah, I know this. Okay? And Moses did two forty days, right? That's right. Yeah. Yes. So he did forty weeks of gestation until birth. Forty weeks of gestation until books. How much? Forty weeks. Mm. Forty weeks. Forty weeks. Mm. Yes, count it. Just count forty weeks. And then we see you get nine months or how much it come up to. Yeah. Hmm? And they, they, they say, you know, these people didn't know all the time. Is these scientists who playing with their feeble mind? Their own feeble mind. Mm. 40 years of age before a man develop insight. Before any man got, get insight is what? At the age of 40. This is why you find... 40 is the time when a man, you see, started to do what he have to do. That is when, the, the, it, like, reality hit them. Before they develop inside that. This is why men need what? What? Mentors. 
Men need mentor because when you reach the age of 30, that is when you actually start to work on what you have been called to or for. Before that, all you're doing is what? Developing, making babies. Not with women, but with your? But with your? Mind. Wife. You're married, you're married young, and you're being taught how to nurture and how to bring and how to groom. So now when you're operating in your place, you are setting an example for your? Benim. All. All your Benim. Every single one. You see, Hashem's rule, it speaks about, Mem is also said to represent two aspects of God's rule. The Malkot, which is kingship. Malkot. I remember what I said Malkot is. His kingship. Or it could also mean what? Kingdom. You see, and that's how Hebrew is. It's just the, the vowel, the phonics, does, does, does change the, the actual word. Malkut. Malkut. Mal. Ot. Ot is what? What I said Ot was? Ot is what? Male. No. 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 Female. Okay. It's feminine. Ot is feminine. And you see Malek. You see? Malek. You see? But when you vowel it, you see the, the shirik here? That means you stop. Mal. So you stop, mal, it's short, mal. The lamed, you just stop. When you see the two dots under the lamed, you just stop, mal. So that's the first syllable, mal, the syllabus. There's a closed syllable right here. Wonder we do a little um, language so we can catch up to it. And you see the, the petak, is that a petak or kamits? Um, I can't remember exactly. The whole, the whole home is that a petak or kamats under here. Um, I just don't, I'm not. I'm not doing a language right now, so I wasn't rehearsing. So don't hold me responsible, okay? I'm a human being. Don't trust me. Trust what the sages and what they have prepared and what they teach. So I'm just, just for a little clarification. For song, that's what I'm doing this for, okay? Don't hold me to it. All right. So you have the mal, and you see it's the, 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 the A song, right? The A, ah, right? So like in fact. Fada, right? F -a -a. Ma, ma, mal. So you take the a, the lamed, mal, kut, kut, o, kaf, wav, tav, mal, kut. So, so you have now, just with the change of the vowel pointing, you have the what? The whole um, <coughs> construction of the word change. The word now is conjugated. You conjugate. The verb, the name, the name now is conjugated into a what? Uh, a verb or, 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 um, or an, another, another word. So you have king, dom, or um, kingship, kingdom or kingship, right? So it will be used in accordance to how the translator prefer it. You see, you see, so you see how... Hebrew could be, it, it has one meaning, but the words that are used could be what? Could be different, but yet still carrying the same what? Intent, in the same, the same um, thought. Thought to thought translation is always better than word for word, because word for word, it can, it can mess you up, because word changes. Ideas doesn't. Ideas remain the same, word changes, okay? And... Memshal, Memshalal, which is dominion, as indicated in Psalms 145, 13. Okay, and it says, the kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy kingdom endureth throughout all generation. See, and that's speaking about 
the kingdom, what is kingdom? That place. This place. So in this place is speaking about the divine mystery about his kingdom is what? Eternal and forever. So in this word and all you're seeing how it could work both sides. Both sides. You see just as what? Mizraim. Because when they went into Egypt, they went in and they taste a little, but then they became what? Sucked in. This is why when they left, they say, Why are you bring us out? You bring us out. He said, Die, we can we as good in Egypt, you know. We as good in <laughs> Come here back. This quail be eaten. This this thing. We don't want that. Okay? So we see that these this mem is 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 it's 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 speaking a greatness about Hashem. I want to read in in um Proverbs Proverbs one and one. But it wouldn't you wouldn't see it in um, the Bible, but they'll just have an as as asterisk. There's an enlarged mem. And he says, just say, why is there an enlargement at the beginning of um, the Proverbs? Mesh. Lee, Meshly, which is the Proverbs, right? The Proverbs. Meshly, Shaloma, Ben, Dawid, Malek, Yisrael. Okay? So what are they saying there? The Proverbs of Solomon, song of David, king of Yisrael. You see it? And there is an enlarged mem. So now what it's saying there is that Moshe, what he did, he fasted basically. He went into fasting before he even write the Proverbs. Wait, Moshe writes. Not Moshe. Um, <laughs> this is what I say. All you gotta keep, all you gotta, again, don't trust me. I can make mistake. Sometimes my mouth going faster than my. Why my mind is on Moshe? Because Moshe spent 40 days in the desert, right? Yeah. Because now Moshe is always related with 40, not Shamul, right? Shaluma, 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 Shalomon. Yeah, Shalomo, right? Shaluma. Wait, let's just see. is the second one, right? Shaloman. Shaloma, yeah, Shaloma, 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 is Shin, Lamed, Mem, He. Yeah, Shin, Lamed, Mem, He. He. So it should be Sha, Mo. No. No, no. It's Sha. Sha, Luma. You see? You see? Watch. No, eh? No, watch. You have Sham, Sham. You have this. And you have that. So this is a closed syllable right there. That's two that I want. Or it's two that. No, yeah, it's two that. right? Mm -hmm. You have that, that's a that's this is a closed syllable. Right? So you have that's a closed syllable. So you pronounce that day. Sh, sh, and it's short. Sh, Luma. Mm -hmm. You see? Lama, that is now Lama, one syllable. Lo, no, la. Lum ma. Lum ma. Two more syllables. So you have three syllables in that word. Yeah. Ben. Ben. Dawid. And you see the dash on top? The dash on top, that means it, the, the words continue. It follow through. It attach with. Okay? So while we gain some, we gain some, we gain some grammar in, in, inside this teaching. This is good. You see all the pulling grammar out of me now, right? <laughs> so this is really, really good. All right? <laughs> now, you, somebody, you found um, John? John, um, somebody can read it for me. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Say that again. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, 
From his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, he that believes in him. As the what? Scripture. So what is the scripture? What is he referring to? Is he referring to the... Is he ref referring to the... Berit Hadash. Is it referring to that? Is it referring to Berit Hadash, which is the new covenant? Is it referring to that? No. No. What is it referring to? That's right. He's speaking about the... He's speaking about the... The Tanakh. The Tanakh. He's speaking about the Tanakh. So now he's saying that... How many, many, ben, kadava, ha, kato, katova, meko, ba, bu, yozal, yozalu, nahali, maim, hayem. Whoever believe in me as it is written in the scriptures, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. So now we're seeing that Yeshua is the actual person that releases the flow of what scriptures from any what person. If you don't know scripture, can you be a Talmudim or could water flow out of you? If you don't know the scriptures, could you even understand what is written in the Berit Hadosh? Hadosh, the new covenant. If you don't know the Torah, if you don't know the Tanakh, could you understand what is written in the Berit Hadash? The new covenant? It's impossible. But there are many scholars who are relating to scripture, but they don't know the what? The Tanakh. They don't read the Tanakh. They don't study the Tanakh. They only relate to the Tanakh on the basis of what has been translated by who? By the Septuagint. What's the Septuagint? Septuagint? 70? The 70 scribes that was given the assignment to what? Translate the Tanakh into what? Greek. And that's what they translate. Or they make all their commentaries from. Because they say this language is... Ah, this language is the easiest language. Easiest language. Listen to me. You, if you go on YouTube, you see all people say, oh, this language, ah, this. you know why they're saying it's hard? Tell me why they're saying it's hard. Paper. Paper. And then they will say, oh, what school are you studying? Oh, who is your professor? Oh, who? oh, you don't know. Okay, all right, okay. Just point well stated. Let's read the scripture. Let's see what the scripture says. Because the consonant don't change, the vowel don't change. The pronouns, the participles doesn't change. Well, I use an English word now to convey Hebraic concept. Just as past, present, future, you just have perfect and imperfect tense, basically, in Hebrew, which makes it even clearer. And all words are constructed by three letters or Two. That's it. A parent root and a child root. A child root is as a result of the parent root. And the parent root brings for the child root. And the child root now, when conjugated, now you have words that carry different what? Meaning, although attached and connected with that root. With that root. So you have stem root. Stem root that is shooting out of this one root word. So all the words will have this sort of relation to this one pial. Like the word pial, pial is the verb, is a verb, pial, and, uh, and, and that verb now, it is used for action, and that is why it's a verb. So it's every type of action you will relate to the pial. So you have the pial verb. So now you have the, uh, with that pial verb, you have uh, verb in the past, the present, or the future. And it's how it's conjugated now. But that is uh, another time. So let's finish up here this evening. 
with this man. So we're seeing that the mem now is what you're going into the world with the revelation of Hashem, but now you could become all sucked in to the modern <coughs> concept with the emergent church, with the name it and claim it. But God is going to give you a blessing, that this is your blessing now. And God has in store for you a new car. God has in store for you a new job. This is all lies, people. When you serve in Christ, it's going to be hell, hell, hell. No one will like you. Your parents will disown you. Your brothers and sisters will see all manner things about you. What? Yaakov. Yaakov didn't want him to do nothing with two. Yeshua. But he is the first what? He's the first leader in the church of Jerusalem, not, not, um, yeah, Yaakov, yeah. not, um, Moses. not, um, no, um, not Peter, not, Peter. not Petra, lie those Catholics are tell lies, Yaakov, James, he was the leader of the church, Yaakov? yeah, James. James, same thing, Yaakov, James, Huh? J J Yaakov is translated, translated as James or Chan Yes, yeah. Yeah. But, so you're seeing that if you don't study to show yourself approved, a workman that did not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, you wouldn't know. So you'll be what? Taken for a, a fool. And you'll be following all these people. And now, but the Bible says, you work out your own soul salvation. Get good teachers. And he said, no, I will send you good shepherds. Roa. I will send you good roa. Good shepherds. What a good shepherd. Tov roa. Good shepherds. Those who will teach you how to study scripture. How for you to know it for yourself. You don't need me. All I need to do is to teach you how to read this. That's all. And when you open your book, when you open the text, you just see if it's corresponding with what is written. If it's not, you say, Hashem, show me. And he's going to give you what? Revelation in this world. But no revelation is new. None is new. All revelation is what? It's concealed in the Tanakh, but it's revealed in in it's revealed in Bayit Hadosh in the new covenant. Who is the new covenant? Yeshua. Yeshua Mashiach. So when people say they had new revelation, okay, show me because it can't differ from the text. Oh, I was praying in the cave and the Lord spoke to me to form. Oh, um, um, how do you call him David Koresham? New dominion or what have you. All this cult that started because why they hear the spirit talking to them. Woo. How you know is Christ who's speaking to you? What spirit talk to you? How you know? If it doesn't correspond with scripture, you have a devil. You have a demon. Get away from me. When Yeshua talked to who? Peter. Get away from me. Get behind me, Satan. Because the devil, the devil could use who? Christians. The devil. You know they have this new talk, new thing. Oh, Christians can't be possessed. Really? Really? What am the Shaul? Um, no, um, 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 Saul. Shaul. What am the Shaul? Saul. With David. What am the? What am the? And he was doing Hashem's work before? Mm -hmm. Wasn't his choice, but the people chose him, right? Because we want a king. What I'm telling you, you never see what? You never see eternality. Never. Because he did what? He didn't do that which Yahweh command him to do. Check through scriptures and you see all these men who didn't walk in accordance to Hashem's word. What happened to them? They were separated from him. Listen, we have the information to, talk, to teach to this world the revelation that is concealed in Tanakh, but yet revealed in Moshiach. Moshiach. Your name? Moshiach. The same man. And even we could use in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 7 and 9, you will see, when you go into that um, passage of scripture, you will see a close man between the word 
between the word, not time to go into that because I want to finish up. Between the word, um, as he gave and he said, now this will be a sign. You see a closed mem, like you're having a word, lachim, um, like yeah, between a word, you have a closed mem. You can't have a closed mem between or at the beginning of a word. A closed mem only comes to the what? The end of a word. That's the only way you will see a closed mem. You Center don't have a word. You only have it at the, at the end of a word. It doesn't come in between or the start. It only goes at the end. So that was the sign. And the sages and they say, is that is when um, 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 King, um, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Hezekiah, when he has a son and he will bring back the, and the see, well, it wasn't so. It was King Hezekiah's son. No, it wasn't so. Because the seed, it wasn't fulfilled. So now, Yeshua, who they were speaking about, who will come forth from the virgin, from the young woman, who will bring forth a child, because her womb was never disturbed. Her sexuality was never disturbed. She was kept for her husband, so that Yesh Yahweh could have used her by the Ruach HaKodesh to impregnate her with Moshiach. So now we know would have what we have today. So the revelation, this letter, is the revelation that we have to go into this world. So now the revelation now is going to be so well secure in this, in, in, in this world that now the new man can now come and walk in it. So now we are going on to the noon. So the, all the information we have now, we ought to share to the world and communicate to the world this new life. This new life who is only found in who? Yeshua Mashiach. Not in things, not in the institution, not in the concept, not in all these things that they're presenting to you. It's only found in him. If it's not in him, run far. Run far, 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 far. Run. Run. Get to know your creator. If you don't get into the book, the book will not get into you. And if the book is not in you, you are going to be lost. Moat, debt, shamut. You will have that debt. You will have that debt that was in Mezraim. You will have that debt. Listen, this week, the mem, which speaks about the earth, the four world, the earth, the waters, chaos, mem also speaks about people, it speaks about language, it speaks about all, all these different terms that this word could represent, this letter represent. It speaks about nation. So when you look at the mem, it's speaking about what we ought to do with this word, with this world that we are now placed in. We are the water. The wellspring and out of our bellies must flow forth living water. We are the light of the world. We represent Moshiach. No one won't be able to represent him apart from us. We are the point of reference. So if you're comfortable and if you're, you're, you're all good where you are, you are working for who? Okay. The devil. Because we haven't seen the goodness and the glory of Hashem. Read some of the, the, the books of the martyrs and see what's going on in China. See what's going on in Korea. See what's going on in not, um, not, not um, Korea. See what's going on in um, Nigeria. Nigeria and these places. What were they doing to people who confess Yeshua Mashiach? What were they doing? And you know what they're saying? Late not to their charge, Hashem. Late not. And men smuggling Bibles there. And if they have two pages the, the, from the Bible, they chain out one page and they give in to give in, give in a page. And they learn it and then they don't need this no more. Where it is? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not what? Be dysfunctional before you. But every word that comes forth, it will come from that cemented place, from that amuna. Your faith. And your faith is not in some mystical, wicked thing what these, this nasty church has taught us. That is not faith. Faith is the word of Hashem. The word 
The book. Read that book, people. Read that book and get to know that book. Get to know him because the word is perfect. That is why it's death apart from Yeshua. Apart from Yeshua, it is death. Because it's perfect. When you line yourself up with a perfect pole, you know what happened? You see how bent you are. And anytime you try to shake yourself with that word, what will happen? You'll die. You can't straighten that. You can't straighten what is crooked. No man can straighten what is crooked. There's only who? Mashiach. This is why you have the calf his hand. His hand become the what? That which kills you. That which kills you. And that's how we become straight. So now we can go into this world and teach. We can teach because we have been what? Cemented in him. Listen, Yeshua Mashiach has called us. Yeshua Mashiach, he has, he has, he has secured us in him. Listen, this world, this is, this is trying time. Listen, the emerging short church to take over and people are all doping to this lie. They're doped into this, into this life. Wake up! It is high time that you wake out of sleep. Our salvation joint nearer than we think. Listen, people. Listen, that's your salvation. Your salvation. The Bible say, if a man must teach his work, his family must be in all gravity. He must be a husband of how much wife? All these men who, who, who change a wife and these ministers and them who divorce the wife, they're not servants of Hashem. They're not. All of them, they're not. You know what I like Charles Stanley, Charles Stanley what he did? He remained unmarried because he reached scripture. Because if you can't keep yourself, go back and keep your wife. And if you don't want to keep her, remain how? Unmarried and don't masturbate. Don't masturbate because think this in your mind. Because the Bible says, if you even take it in your, your soul, you have committed the act already. And the only way you can, you can remain unmarried is when you're given to the word as Shaul. Woo! And it could be done. You won't have no desire. No desire. No desire. So all these men who are changing women like underwear, and these women who are standing up in pulpit and saying, God put me here, and we're going to show you all, and having all kind of, and, and showing out all kind of lustful body behavior, nasty, stinking, hollow tree. Read Revelation, read Daniel, read Proverbs 5, and see how her lips are smooth as wet, honey. Wake up, people, wake up. We are in the mem. You have the revelation by good teachers. By good teachers. Not these felts. If you want it. And the more you come to reason and truth, is the faster you're going to run out. You know why you're going to run out? Because you don't want the truth. I don't even want your money. All I want you to do is what? Think and apply his word. And say, Lord, I need you. This is why I don't ask anybody if they want to get saved, they want to know Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. When you see a woman who you, who you so desire, you see a man who you want, what they'll do? You go after them. <laughs> you go after them. You knock down the door. You talk to them. But you talk to the father. I say, I love that woman. Hey, I love that man. Hey. That's what man does do. When they see what they want. That's just what they want. Much less for what they need. When they need something, what they do? They're going out behind all kind of dark alley, all kind of thing. For what they think they need. They're just a sexual one minute vapor. Listen, this week, the mem, we are in the mem. We have the revelation, we have the teaching, and we got to dispense it to this world by His Ruach HaKodesh. Thank you for viewing with us, and we're going to see you next week. Shalom. Me, I am life, uh-huh, don't play with me. 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 I